didn't touch her. She was scared, that's all. Please don't shoot me. Please, sir, I ain't done nothing. It has been shocking and awful to watch over the past five decades where black people were literally kept on the other side of the tracks. 50 years ago, this was a very different place. Did he have intercourse with you? He raped me. He did all the dirty work he wanted to do without any guessing. This was a small, backwater, mean, racist town. Come here, nigger. Stop running. Hey, you, boy. We need him to confess. Where black people were literally kept on the other side of the tracks. In view of your freely made guilty pleas, I hereby sentence you all to death in the electric chair. What? We never do now. It took only 30 minutes for an all-white jury to return with a verdict of guilty. guilty. Never mind that there was never any evidence against Isaiah or the other three boys except their confessions. I remember when Judge Susan O'Connor in the Broward County Jail said, We, the people, hereby sentence you to die by lethal injection. I teach students about the history of racial discrimination by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was my hero for years. I can teach it at Harvard. I cannot teach the course that I teach today here in the state of Florida based on the Woke Act. This is wrong, and we do need to teach of the history of what's taking place. If we want to reach the masses, we have to use our existing school systems, public schools, and public universities. I'm so glad to see this production because it does bring out some of the injustice and some of the things that many people may not have known about. This is just the beginning.